passer it, John. Don't want to get in trouble. The largest hobby <laughs> show in the country is happening this weekend. There are you. David's live in Rosemont. What's up, Dave? Get in too much trouble. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Remember these old uh, train tracks we got okay. here? This is what you think of when you think of hobby stores and all these old train tracks, but there's so much more and so many state-of-the-art items that we have. We're going to check out over here. Check out all of this. I remember when I was a kid, the planes that we used to fly had the little rubber band, remember? You'd, you'd twirl it up and you'd send it off. Not anymore. Look at these state-of-the-art planes here. Jack Burnside, who is the president of Empire Hobby, tell us a little bit about what we're going to see this weekend. Yeah, uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, you're at the iHobby Expo. The biggest thing going on this weekend is uh, heli competition and the airplane competition. There's a ton of giveaways to the public. It'll be um, 11 to 1 for the airplanes and 2 to 5 for the helicopters. Um, you'll see some of the latest and greatest uh, 3D stuff. Everything from the most advanced to the most basic and the starter stuff. Every year the technology gets more and more advanced. Tell me a little bit about what, what's so state of the art about what we're seeing here with the helicopters. The biggest thing is that electrics have really opened up uh, a world in the, the helicopters and the precision of the machining just allows uh, it to be possible. It's light, it's quiet, it's efficient and they'll do all the aerobatics you can imagine. A lot of these state of the art ones though are not cheap. So if you have a kid who really wants to get into it, you know, you want to start them with something pretty basic. Uh, what do you have for that? Yeah, uh, we have what's known as the coaxial or the counter-rotating uh, helicopter. It's right over here, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have this one, and it all comes ready out of the box. They're 149, uh, and it's hobby grade. There are replaceable parts because you're going to hit something, and that's okay. They're easy to repair, a lot of fun. You can fly them in the house. Uh, and they're safe. It's a great way to start. It's not so expensive. And, so it's uh, easy. You don't have to put it together, all together in the thing. And how much does it cost again? Uh, it's $149, not all bad. ready to go with batteries, charger, even a DVD to tell you how to do it. So. And I hear uh, there's a lot new with robots this year. We got a robot down here you want to show us? Yeah, these are very, very cool. They do uh, morning calisthenics. Uh, they have a lot of robot stuff going on here. Uh, this is a high-tech robot. And uh, He'll do all kinds of stuff, so I wish uh, he gets into the one-arm push-up here. Very, very cool. Lots of fun for the whole family. It opens to the public tomorrow uh, tomorrow and Sunday between 10 a.m. and 5 a.m. for the public at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center and Robot. And uh, in Rosemont, sorry, not robots. <laughs> you come check it out. We'll be back in the next hour with some more cool stuff. That robot can do more than some of us. I can't even do, like, uh, one push-up like that. I know. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. Thanks so much. Coming thanks. up at 8 o'clock, Miss USA. Going to be here to talk about that something special that affects every woman. This it is. Been a very special group of dancers going to join us to get you ready for some weekend fun. Yeah.